By incorporating this one underused strategy to your website or blog, you can drive hundreds or thousands more organic users to your website every single month. It's something that Google themselves are telling us that we should be doing, but most digital marketers still ignore it. It's incorporating Google Web Stories onto your website or blog, so your content gets featured in the Discover tab for Android users all over the world. You can use it on any platform, so Shopify, WordPress, or whatever their CMS you're using. I'm gonna show you really quickly how we go about making a web story on WordPress using the official plugin, but this will be a really quick segment, and then I'll show you how to implement it on any website at the end. So if you're using Shopify or anything else, you're gonna use storifyme.com. And if you're using WordPress, you're gonna install the official Google Web Stories plugin. Once we have that plugin installed, we can see stories on the left-hand side here. So we just need to click add new. So once we're in here, we can create a slideshow or a carousel, or we can upload a short video. I like to repurpose my YouTube shorts anywhere I can. So in this example, I'm just gonna drag it into the square. Next, we just wanna click on document and scroll down and under story description, we wanna add an SEO optimized description. You can add some of your keywords in here and a short description about what the video is about. After that, you can add an image, you can add a logo. And then next, what we wanna do is we wanna click on style. And if we scroll down here, we can see the section for the call to action. All we need to do here is enter our website address. So I've entered my own website and we can see at the bottom of the web story now has added a link directly back to my website. But there's a few other things obviously you can do in here, but I'm not gonna get into them all now because you can figure them out yourself when you're in here. This is just a basic idea of how to make a web story. It will be similar in Storify Me for Shopify and other platforms. So once we have the video, we wanna come over here and click publish. Then we have an option here to add it to a new post or view the story. I'm just gonna click dismiss. And what we wanna do next is go back to document. And if we scroll down, we can see the URL link to the story. So what I wanna do is I wanna copy that. And the next thing I'm gonna do is embed this into our website using HTML. And this next step is the same for pretty much any website. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my homepage or any other page on our website that's relevant to the topic our web story is about. So I'm using a page builder here, so I'm just gonna open it up. So next we just need to add some HTML to the website. So on the page builder, I'll just use a HTML block. You can use the equivalent in Shopify or anything else. And next we need to wrap that link in a piece of code, which I'm gonna put in the description below. So if I paste it in here, you can see that the web story has now been published to the homepage. So as long as you have some web stories attached to relevant pages on your website, you're then gonna start seeing in your analytics a month or two later that you're getting some direct traffic through these web stories on Google Discover. If you're already making short form content like TikTok, or you know, YouTube Shorts or Instagram Reels or Facebook Reels, this is a great way to repurpose them and get some evergreen organic traffic. If you're looking to build, grow, or scale an online business, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I got a lot more short, fast, actionable tips just like this that will help you out. Thanks for watching.